Good morning. It's Worship Wednesday, and I hope after you have your devotions this morning, you'll have an opportunity to, to worship with the Martinez family. So today we are in Lesson 56, How Did Jesus Return to Heaven? And I think this is just kind of an amazing story to think about. So let's, first of all, focus on what our verse is, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried. He was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. <clears throat> so that verse tells us that the Bible all along has told us that Jesus was coming, that he was going to die, bury, be buried, and three days later come back to life again. Well, the time came for Jesus to return to heaven. And I want you to picture with me out on a mountaintop, Jesus with his disciples, and they were having their last moments together when suddenly Jesus started raising up. His feet started lifting off the ground, and he started going upward, upward, upward. They watched, and they watched, and they watched until they could barely see a speck anymore, and then he was gone. Imagine that. That would be so strange, right, to be there witnessing that. And even as they uh, stared into the sky, angel, an angel came and said to them, what are you looking upward for? That same Jesus who has gone back to heaven will come again one day. So that is the hope that we have. One day, Jesus who was on this earth a few thousand years ago will return once again to take us to heaven, those of us who have given our lives to Jesus. So what do you think the disciples did next? First of all, they worshipped God. They knew that much more that this Jesus who had been on the earth with them was the Son of God, so they worshipped him. And then they went back into the village and shared with joy the news that Jesus had gone back to heaven, but one day he was going to return again. And so I want you guys to think about that today, and we're going to be talking the next couple of days about how we can get ready for that, okay? It's awesome news that Jesus will return again one day. Let's pray together. Father, thank you that we have that, that hope, that assurance that one day Jesus is going to return again and take us to be with him in heaven. What a beautiful um, time that will be. What what a joy that will be to stand in the presence of Jesus Christ himself. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a great day and enjoy your time of worship with the Martinez family. Hi everybody, welcome to Worship Wednesday. Hello everybody, I'm Peter. Hi Trevor. Hi Bella. And today we're, we have a little surprise for you. Peter wants to say something. Okay, so in First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 11, it says, Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. So we're going to sing a song in reverence to our God, who is head and king over all, who is strong and mighty. Are you guys you ready? ready? Guys? Yeah. Okay, one, one two, two, three. Our God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Our God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Yeah, good job, guys. You guys want to pray? Yeah. Okay, go, Trevor. Um, thank you, God. Thank you for food or food. Thank you for the people and making them feel better and giving them strength. Amen. Amen. Do you want to pray? Yeah. Come, okay. Jesus, to my family, to my papa. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen.
y'all have a wonderful week. We love you guys. Bye. Love you all. Goodbye and God bless you.